so the next thing that my wife and I have been getting into is worm composting. Now, kind of might sound gross, but actually in the um, outdoors there, that's what, you know, waste is being eaten by bugs. Uh, some of those bugs are worms, and worms do a great job of breaking things down and turning them into incredible soil that you can use um, as fertilizer for your garden bed. So really, really simple little process here, and that's take three, I believe those are five gallon buckets. One of them you don't do a thing with. The second one, you want to drill, as you can see in the bottom, holes. Uh, holes big enough that whatever worm you're using, depending on the size of the worm, can get through. Uh, because you're going to trade out this bucket and this bucket back and forth. So, holes in the bottom, and then you take shredded newspaper, moist, you don't want it dripping when you squeeze it. You want it where, you know, you wring it out and no water comes out. So just, just moist. And then you do exactly the same thing with the second bucket. So there's, there's two buckets with holes in the bottom, all, you know, big enough that uh, worms can get up, you know, through, down, and up. Um, <clears throat> and then on both of these, you drill holes around the edge, smaller than a worm can get through. Okay, and you also get one top with the same size, you know, smaller holes that the worms cannot get through. Okay, so basically you have two the same. Both have shredded newspaper. Now, for the bedding, you can use shredded newspaper, coconut core, um, dried up leaves. But then, you know, wet them, of course. Uh, I hear people using sawdust and whatnot. Um, just something that is more carbon-based. Uh, made out of paper or leaves or something like that. Um, and make sure it's damp. Then, you put your worms on top. And then you throw in whatever food they might eat. You can look this up if you look up worm composting, uh, what they could eat. But... Um, basically just scraps. Um, you don't want to put any meat in uh, and nothing that has salt or anything like that because that could kill the worms too. So the, the best things to put in is going to be like fruit or um, citrus. They have a hard time with citrus. That's what I hear. So you might want to stay away from putting in uh, uh, like oranges and lemons and whatnot. But <clears throat> Pretty much uh, any veggie or fruit you can put in there. And then you cover it with a damp newspaper, just solid. And you only want to do that with one of them to start. So as you can see here, I've got, well, it's a little dark, isn't it? I've got some uh, scraps that they're eating. You can see they've already produced some soil. You can see it at the bottom there. But this, uh, these scraps are being eaten really well. I had a whole uh, couple pieces of watermelon. They've eaten all but the, the end of the rind off. They've eaten all of my uh, cucumber. I put a bunch of cucumber in there. That's gone. And uh, these banana husks are the last things left for them to eat. So they're eating really well. I actually got to replenish their stock of food. And so it's really simple. Um, to start off, I put the one bucket with the bedding and nothing in it at the bottom. And then the bucket with the worms on top at first. Okay. And once they're done eating and you want to go ahead and uh, switch it out, which you can, all you do is you take the top bucket and switch it with the bottom bucket and then take all the worms out, throw them into the top. And actually, you, uh, you don't really even have to take the worms out. You just throw in the food and they will migrate up also. So 
uh, depending on how full the bottom one is, as long as the, the top bucket is touching the bottom and they can get up through. At least that's what I hear. So they should be able to migrate their way up as long as the holes are large enough. But that's that, and you just cover it. And technically, you can keep this indoors. Uh, my wife and I prefer to keep it out in the garage, so I just kind of put it over in the corner over here in my garage. But, uh, yeah, that's that's it. It's it's really simple, and it produces some of the best, um, best fertilizer you can ever use. Look up worm castings, and worm castings are, you know, they call it black gold. You know, it's some of the best uh, fertilizer you can use for plants. So, um, there it is. Try it. It's really simple. It's really easy. You can go buy some worms here. I, for like 20 bucks, I bought a pound of worms, threw it in there, and uh, they should breed and multiply. So you'll end up with like, you know, a pound and a half to two pounds by the time you're done. And either throw those back in the garden or make a sec second one. Um, and put those worms in, in your second bucket. Uh, so again, really simple guys. Thanks again for watching. Have a good, great day.